Let's balance the equation for the decomposition of N2O5 into N2O4 plus O2. So we have dinitrogen pentoxide. It's decomposing into dinitrogen tetroxide in this oxygen gas here. Since it's decomposing, it's one thing is breaking apart into two. This is called a decomposition reaction. It would also be called a redox reaction as well because we have the oxidation states are changing for the nitrogen and the oxygen here. So let's count the atoms up, balance the equation. Two nitrogens, five oxygens. Product side, two nitrogens, four oxygens, but don't forget the two oxygens out here. So we have a total of six. Why don't we get this to be an even number? That's often helpful. So two times the whole thing. So two times two, that gives us four nitrogens, but this five times the two, that'll give us 10 oxygens. Let's fix the nitrogens and see what happens. Put a two in front of the dinitrogen tetroxide, two times two is four. So the nitrogens are balanced. Let's update the oxygens. So we have two times four, that gives us eight, plus the two here, that gives us 10. We're done, this equation is balanced. If you wanted to write the states, at room temperature, this dinitrogen pentoxide would be a solid. We'd have a gas at room temperature and oxygen, that's a gas as well. So those are the states. And both of these are very interesting compounds. I'll put links in the description if you'd like to learn more about each of these compounds here. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for N2O5 decomposing. Thanks for watching.